Hello, my name is Tom Arbor and you are watching Hingeback Tortoise Central. This channel is all about my work to breed hingeback tortoises in captivity, and if you'd like to follow along on our adventure, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you joining us every Saturday morning and Wednesday evening for a new video. What we're going to do today is offer some enrichment to the tortoises. And this got started with me seeing something online about how tortoises are always eating downward at a plate of food in captivity. And so when my tortoises are outside for the summer, they are actually crawling around their outdoor enclosure, which is right out there. And they're grabbing in all different kinds of directions. They're ripping and shredding. They're using their whole body to grab a hold of a plant and rip it and shred it. But in captivity, inside the house, during the winter time, they don't get that opportunity. So what we're gonna do today is see if we can use these collard greens to hang them in the enclosure and see if that would cause the tortoise to be able to reach up and stretch and therefore get some exercise and being enriched during the long winter here in Columbus, Ohio. So one of the reasons that I'm using collard greens is that they have this nice, thick, juicy stem. And I think I can attach that somehow to the side of their enclosure so that the leaf hangs down and they can eat it and then work their way up. So we're gonna try this out on our tortoise, Blondie, and you can see why we're gonna try it out on her. She's really adventurous, and it looks like she would take this food right off the leaf. And there she goes. She loves to explore. So instead of using tape to tape these, this plant on, what I'm actually gonna do is use one of these hooks, put the hook in up here, and then hang the plant down, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, there's the hook in, and now we'll put the plant on there and see how this works. I'm wondering if she'll recognize it as food, or if she just thinks it's one of the fake plants. There you go, Blondie. Do you see it? She's like, uh, that's not food. Let's try to get her a little more close. Okay, we're gonna try one more time to see if we can get it on camera. And nope. Well, despite my best efforts, that did not work out, at least quickly. So I'll just keep an eye on her and see how things go. So she stopped going after her, the collard green and moved over to the fake plant and actually took a bite out of the fake plant, which I've never seen her do. So isn't that interesting how a tortoise can learn so quickly that, hey, you know what, that might be food. In fact, she's still looking over there saying, now this plant is a little lower. Can I eat that? So wow, fascinating. Uh, you could see how she was stretching her neck and it really gives me a good look at the tortoise too so i'm gonna keep trying this and see how it goes see how they like it it's just another way to give a little bit of enrichment to your tortoise so that they can exercise all the muscles they have and try to recreate what they have to go through to get food in the wild so that is what we're trying to do as conscientious tortoise keepers. Try to find the things that we can enhance our tortoise lives so we can have happy, healthy tortoises for a long, long time. Thank you for watching today. Please subscribe. I really appreciate you watching our videos each Saturday morning and Wednesday evening. Thank you and go Hingeback Tortoises.